I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Beth Riley and I am with the Flamingo Group and I'm a realtor and our team has been very interested in the building of green homes. And the start of this is with Joe Pasma from Intercept and he's the national sales manager for the Intercept for Intercept Incorporated. I have lots of questions for you, Joe. So from the beginning to the end of construction in the sense that it's time to put the panels on well, you still need the foundation put in. About how long does it take? Obviously, it's going to depend on the complexity nice. of the house. So when you look at like the one that's on the screen, that's going to take a little bit more time than just a simple box. But if you compare a stick framed home and, and a SIP home of very similar layouts, the SIP frame home is going to go up about half the time. Uh, they just and if it's a real simple box now i'm going to talk really simplified so, a say square. somebody wants like <laughs> somebody wants to put a, a a hunting shack up in in northern minnesota we take those 8 by 24 foot panels you could have four of those laid down so that the walls are 8 foot tall four panels and your walls are all up and you could put six or eight panels on the roof and the roof is enclosed you could actually do that in a day's time Okay. which stick framing is going to take you a week or two by the time you cut all the studs and insulate it all. So that's sort of, that's way oversimplified Beth, but it does give you an idea of that snapshot of, of time savings that you can realize by using SIPs in the construction. Well, just to have to, and we put the labor slide up. First of all, I love that house and it's beautiful. And I want people to know that you can build a beautiful house uh, with this type of construction. The other thing is, is the less labor really lies in the fact that this can be pre uh, What was the word you used? Pre-manufactured? What was yes. it? Panelized pre offsite construction. That's offsite construction. Cause then we're, there's so many issues right now to get people to the sites. Yes. We're, Especially okay. now in the winter time, you got to fight all the snow. So, you know, if you get a window of of two or three days where you don't have snow, clean the site off, clean your foundation off. You can actually have the walls up and the roof on and the building enclosed. And next week you throw a small heater in there and you can start to finish off the inside of the building very quickly. Which is, yeah, which is always a trick. I mean, yes. you want to keep people working the whole year round. So that's, that's always a trick. That's why I, I work with a lot of different builders that will try and flip just for the winter. They might not make any money on the flip, but they're going to keep their teams. So yeah. this is, this might overcome some of that. The other thing is, is really, we talked a little bit about the design. Uh, could you go into it as far as the, the architectural design of a home? Does it need to be specific to SIPs? Tell me a little bit about that. No, it doesn't. And, and what we do at the plant is, take plans that are designed with sticks in mind and we convert that to panelized construction to sip construction now one of the things that is a little bit um, more onerous if you will with sip construction when you look at the picture um, that's up on the screen you, you see a lot of the windows the doors and the windows and the the rough openings because we're prefabricating and cutting those doors and windows into the panels at the plant we obviously need to know what size that mean they need to be cut at that means that the building owner or somebody needs to decide what size rough openings we need they need to let us know what that is so we can cut it and then when we put it together or when it's put together and assembled in the field, the windows just slide into those openings. And that's not to say that we can't cut the openings in the field, but that idea of using the factory, that um, controlled environment to manufacture the panels really pays off from that standpoint. So the you'd, you'd mentioned earlier about the foundation needs to go in. Well, one of the cool things that can happen and, and you can press that on-site schedule if you will is that while the foundation is being installed we're manufacturing the panels at the plant so that once the foundation is done and the timing is right on site the, the truck rolls up with all these big pieces and the legos are put in place and the building goes up that much faster 